everybody, it is Building Inspector aka Oki and I'm touring another SSHHS 2017 house on Antonia Bell. This house is not published. It is um, owned by Wizette, W-I-Z-E-T-T-E. -E. It is a Miss Moore Craig's in South Kinos. It is decorated by Tenshni Girl and holy cow, looking at this um, item count, she maxed it out. I mean, one missing regular item from, she maxed out the building block thing and had books in there that didn't count in the normal count. So holy cow, this is going to be good. I, I can feel it because, you know, it's jam-packed. Here we go. Look at this place. This is awesome. That is really pretty. You did an amazing job with this entry. Wow. And she has a teleporter. Um, was that offered three houses? So this is one of the three. Um, awesome. So let's see here. This is from the homeowner, was that? Happy SSHHS 2017. Well, hello there. Uh, owner is Wazette, high elf, female. City is Frost Fang C. Um, home address, uh, Glacial Villa. That was the other house that was offered up, which isn't a prestige one, so there's no teleporter. Um, decorator's choice. Uh, decorator's. Um, ugh! <laughs> For decorations, theme or decorations choice, she picked decorations choice. And I'm tongue twisted already. All right. Um, do you want Frostfield decorations? Honestly, whatever floats your boat. I've set up three houses for you to choose from. The portals are here in the house, and they are all linked up for your ease. Each home has port pads and port pads, a crafted expander, a guild guild door and an actor of my pretty self feel free to pick up pick whichever one you want so she picked the miss Moore one i would like to ask a few things of you please do not use any marketplace items in the, these homes while i can appreciate the work put into them and the excitement i would much rather see you see that see what you can build on your own it's easy to buy a bed or a table and plop it down. I'd love to see you challenge yourself a little more than that. I'd also feel really guilty if you spent real, your real life money on a home for me. You can do a fun theme, a winter theme, an Aralissi Day theme, whatever your sweet heart desires. But if you do an evil theme, which is totally fine, please no pop-up zombies. I have severe nerve damage in my left foot and if I'm nose to monitor admiring your work and suddenly a zombie pops and pop pop ups scaring me I'll be in pain for a week oh boy okay <laughs> I forgot how long she makes these books okay also please know I will never expect anything from you if you can only do one room then that's what you do. If you want to do the whole house, do it up. If you want to skin it all, do more than one or even do a little breakout, go for it. The point of this event is to enjoy yourself, to have fun with it. It's not fun if I say, do this, do that, put this here, do that there. I, I will appreciate whatever you do. Your decorating skills don't matter to me either. We've all seen some amazing works come from those who are mathematicians and manage the layout editor with ease. I don't know any of us that are mathematicians, by the way, <laughs> just saying that. But I, I have been most inspired by the, the newer decorators. Those who try their best and come up with new ideas. I am challenging not, not your ability on placing items or straight lines, but instead your creativity. Look at an item differently this time. Well, I won't tell you exactly what to do. I can definitely give you some ideas. I've zoned into these these swap houses with completely empty books, so I know how frustrating it is to do a house for someone with zero clue what they like. 
It's easier for me to tell you a little about me, then you can find something we connect with and get inspired from there. I love wizards. Almost all my tunes are wizards. I'm Wizam over on my jewel, Skyfire, and Halls of Fate. Someone got my name over here before I could, so I got Wizet. It's actually a combination of my name, Wizam, and my best friend's name, Shanette. Feel free to add her in here if you like. My other bestie is Kian. She's a goofball, and most days I need a dictionary just to understand what she's saying. But she sure can make me laugh, even when I'm in a sour mood. I love the color pink and purple, too. Then blue. All colors excite me. I like to paint and love to bake in real life. Every year in the winter, I make hundreds of cookies and deliver them to our doctors, mechanic, mailman, neighbors, and friends, and anyone else that likes cookies. My gingerbread is out of this world. I do celebrate Christmas in real life. Seven years ago, I quit smoking because of a deal from my husband. He said if I quit, we could put up the tree. If I cheated, we took it down. Mind you, this was August. Sure enough, that tree went up and stayed up. It's sitting in my living room now, in a box, because I want it up, but I'm debating if my new neighbors will kill me or not. LOL. Uh, um... Oh, oh, because it's too early or something? Anyway, <laughs> I love comfy things. Oversized couches and pillows, fluffy sweaters and roaring warm fires. I also love evil things. Night of the Dead is such a fun time for me. I make such evil, creepy stuff that people look at me. What, what the hell is wrong with you? I really enjoy the gore. I'm sorry if there's children listening. Um, I really enjoy the gore factor of it. There's a whole new world out there when it comes to an evil theme. Rum is my favorite. Tacos and bacon are yummy. Cupcakes are my spirit food. I think I just really love food altogether. I have two cats in real life. Gall Gallifrey and Echo. Excuse me a second. <coughs> Okay, sorry. Echo hates me, and the feeling is pretty much mutual. But Gallifrey is my baby. He's like a dog. He, as he sleeps at my feet every night and on my computer desk every day, got him from a rescue shelter when he was very young and very sick. Nursing him back to health brought us closer together. Wow. I'm, I'm really getting off track. Oh, I if you do the whole frostal theme... I really love those windows with the falling f snowflakes. Excuse me. <coughs> I was born in New England, but moved south about nine years ago. I don't miss the cold, but I do miss the, the beauty of the snow and it falling out the wind, falling out the windows. It would always brighten the room, even when the lights were off. I'm so sorry I got carried away. Seven pages is a bit mu bit too much. The basics are please have fun and please don't and don't feel pressured. I know you will do y your best. Good lick. <laughs> I have to say it as she wrote it. <laughs> Good luck. And mostly thank you for doing this for me. She's thinking of food again. Tacos. Um, may the force be with you. <laughs> or was it? <laughs> I almost said Jeanette because that. Okay. okay. Was that? All right. Here we go. Here's from Tenshni Girl, the decorator. Dear Wisdom, I hope you like your home to celebrate this holiday season. After reading your book saying you used to live in New England and love the snow scenery, it gave me a whole great idea on how to decorate it. When I was growing up, my dad used to have a train display set underneath our Christmas tree and he had little plasticville model buildings and houses that lit up and decorated with cotton fluff around them every year. As I remember taking, taking them in and out of boxes, one of them was called 
<coughs> New England Rancher. And it used to be one of my favorite little houses that I displayed and decorate for the train set. Later on, when I was in my teens, my dad sold the train set and displays, and I was a little upset that he had to get that. Well, I was a little upset that he had to get rid rid of them. Okay, sorry, but I will always remember the good times playing with them every Christmas with my family. As years go on, and still remember those little houses, I came across them and saw pictures on Google. I will show you the actual picture on the forums and that's how I got the idea for your house except for the roof part I added a, a loft and windows for you to add a little detail of the New England houses in real life with the breakout with the ocean and hills it was the great spot to put the house in I also added train tracks too to have a make-believe feel that you're in a, a train display how cool is that very very cool anyway <clears throat> enjoy your new home and have a cup of cocoa and cupcakes on your table and then I hope you enjoy your new home to celebrate the season have a blessed Christmas and a very blessed new year from secret centug holiday house swap decorator tensiony girl aka Justin. P.S. I know you didn't want me to buy anything in the marketplace for you, but I had to buy one item because I couldn't get a rolling pin from that far sea quest. And I, I was running out of time to finish up. So it's your Frostfeld present from me, Mary Frostfeld. Um, P.P.S. It might take about one or two minutes to load depending on depending the speed on your computer please be patient and it will be worth the wait to see your house yes I know I went overboard and maxed out the item limit yes you did and I pointed that out already <laughs> okay so um, here we go you ready guys uh, hopefully it doesn't take a minute or so to do it uh oh in okay inside the house well let's look at the outside I guess it still has to load, even though I've been sitting in the house reading for a while. I guess I maybe should have taken the teleport and quick gone back. Okay, it should be loaded. I have a fast, a very fast computer. Very cute. I, I'm not, I'm trying to look at everything around it first. Very cool. There's a boat. Lots of trees. Okay, I'm gonna light this one if, quick. Um, I want. I'm holding off just in case. All right, let's pick. Um, I, I, she said pink. Then I forget the blue. I'm just gonna do blue then, cause yeah, there's no pink on it. All right, let's look. Holy cow! Look at this house. Oh my, that is lovely. Holy cow. Very, very nice. There's a little cottage back there. Not sure if it's like a garage or... Let's see. Oh, look, there's... Oops. Get out of there, teleporter. Oh, there's a tree over here. Let's go light that, too. <gasps> and there's a building in the ba back. And my mouse, I swear, it's going to drive me insane. Oh, wait, I'm already there. <laughs> Okay. Sorry about my mouse jumping everywhere, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay. This is so cute. Look at the fl the poinsettias up top. Wow. You, you really outdid yourself. I thought in the Night of the Dead swap you said that the, the little chapel that you put in the um, cemetery was like your first building. And now you come up with this. You just like jumped a zillion levels up from you know never really doing a building to this this is you worked your butt off look at that look at the, the you can't see my mouse but I, f I found it it's like I'm starting on the left in case you can't see my mouse and you like did the lights all around the top and they're like angled it's just so pretty up top on the little window 
things popping out of the roof. I don't know what they're called. I should. I watch so much HGTV, but it's been a while, so. Very cute snowman and snow woman. Wow. Okay. So, this is gorgeous. Look at that. She made her own door. And look, Wazette says, Zzz, tacos, zzz, cupcakes, zzz, making gingerbread. Zzz. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not sure where she is. <laughs> she must be right in the inside the door. But look at that. Does this one light? No, because I can't light. Oh, the, is it a regular tree? I don't know. All right. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. I don't know, guys. Do we go straight in or should we look around? Let's look around the outside because that's usually what I do for all the houses. But look at that. All the trim work and stuff. Uh, that is amazing. And having those three paintings, that's a really nice touch. And the win uh, flower window doohickeys, planners. Look, and you got a fence around the whole backyard. Wow. I love what you did with the trees. Sinking them and just having the tops. I love doing that. It is such a cool effect that way. Oh, and let's see here. What's in here? Ooh, a workshop. I wonder if you can craft in here. Nope. I thought maybe that's why you had, like, you were hiding in the crafting station or something. <sighs> Very cute. Very, very cute. I love that. Oh, look. You can, she lets you go in the back. Oh, there's the train track. Woohoo. And she made a little tunnel. Wow. That's awesome. I mean, seriously, that's a really cool idea. Look at this gazebo with a snow, snow mountain on top. That's cool. Oh, and she used the pink poinsettias since pink is was that's favorite. Um, I'm gonna go with I don't know, white twinkle. There we go. Very cute gazebo. And look, you made a a pond frozen over with a rainbow. A little floater racer doohickey. Oh, look at the backyard. I see a grill and stuff. Let's go back in. Look at this. Very nice. And I love the icicles hanging from here and there. And you continue the, the um, strings of lights on the back window. Very cool. All right, let's go in the front. Cause wait, is there more to see over the pond? Oh, look at that window. That's nice. Oh, oh no, I did light it. Okay. All right, well let's go inside. Maybe they should make some like pink the other colors. Pink bows, orange bows, yellow. Well, we have yellow. I think we have purple. I'm not sure. But pink would be cool. Okay, so um, this must be inside the house. Nope. <laughs> um, can we go inside the house? I thought we could go inside the house. Inside house. Okay. I got so confused. Look at this. Very nice. Oh, so much to see. Holy cow. I, I hope I don't miss anything, but I know I will. Wow. Look at that. A custom fireplace. Okay. I'm just making sure there's nothing in any of these. This is really lovely. And you had a little creepy in there because of the skulls. Look at this nice couch with pillows. And here's the cookies and, and uh, 
hot chocolate. I don't think I can light it. No, I wish I could. Uh, next year, I promise, I will work on that in case I decide to randomly tour people's houses. Which I think I'm going to continue doing because I really love seeing everyone's work. I really do. So, you're not completely rid of me yet. Very nice. I like how you combine them all together. That's really pretty. Look at this table. Cupcakes. Look at this chandelier. She added a wreath and hanged. Um, she's hanging uh, baubles from it. That's really cool. And I like the um, rug on the table as a uh, tablecloth. That's really nice. And look, she even put like um, swag on the window and has little snow, snow people. Look at the, the wallpaper, which is kind of pinkish. which was um, love, so that's really cool. And the trim, she made sure that there's a lot of trim on the bottom and the top of the wainscoting, so, I mean, wow. Look at that. And this is a whole custom piece, like, that's really amazing. You did, I don't know how you found the time to do all of this. I really don't. Um, amazing and you have candles in the windows I didn't notice from the outside and look she has a, a a double door so this is the regular door and this is the screen door kind of thing going on very cool look at the floor she did extra tile work she's got bowls food bowls for her kittens and oh look she's got gingerbread men in the um oven since uh and on the top and on a plate with a bite taken out that's very cute look at the stove this is really cute okay there's labels to the mailman and far seas post office from wazam that's cute for um to all my friends of norath from wazam that is adorable you took all kinds of stuff from her book and added it and it's amazing. I, I love this. This is really pretty. Wow, this is really pretty. Wow, more gift bas baskets. Two Iron Forge uh, mechanics. Uh, mechanics yes I'm thinking maniacs for something for some reason anyway <laughs> um, to the doctors and nurses of Norath General Hospital was that and there's all these gingerbread in there that's so cute and she's got a coffee pot and a microwave and a dishwasher and a fridge all custom done look at the sink views of outside. I mean, you can see the snow people outside, or one of them, the snow woman outside and the poinsettias and in the, in the boxes and you can see the back fence and the barbecue. It's, yeah, it's amazing. And, oh, there's even a note, a sign, Echo's Bowl and Golf, Golf Reese Bowl. And Amazing Bacon Cheeseburger Tacos by Betty Cracker. Really? Is there really a recipe for this? Okay. Bacon Cheeseburger Tacos? I've never heard of this. That's cool that she has a recipe for you for tacos. Okay. Let's see what else she has created, shall we? Um, let's stay downstairs first. Wow, just all the little details. Okay, the first room is an art room. She loves to paint. That is cute. Shelf with the paints, and you can see outside. Very nice. 
And then let's see here. What's this? Ooh. Very cool. Um, it's purple in here. Let's just do blue. Because there's blue furniture too. Got a little purple topper on this. Very cool. Oh, it's the bed back here. Okay, I was going to say, what is this room? But there's a bed. Very nice. In a closet. And storage and vanity. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Oh, did I miss this? I missed this room. I walked right, right past it. I love the toilet. And the toilet paper. Again, more windows. Lots. It's really hard to build houses with windows in them. And I don't think she used any that have, like, the cutouts and stuff. I think she did it the old-fashioned way. Look at this bathtub. Very nice. And it's slanted so she can relax. I love it. So nice. Sorry I'm in the thing. Sometimes I have to zoom out in order for me to see everything. So. Okay. Look at that. She does have kids, so that's cool. Look at this. Ah, That's where she is. She's taking a nap. This is so cute. And she's got the creepy she's got a skull here. <laughs> she's got this book here. That's a cute couch. Very nice. And look at this window seat. Very cute. Very, very, and oh, she's got this, and it's a dead tree. <laughs> All right, so let's do red because of the red bows. She's got her creepiness in here, too. That's cool. And the purple railings because pur purple is one of her colors pink and purple, and very, very nice. I don't. I don't think I missed any of the rooms. I'm just going to quick check. I hope I didn't miss any signs. Um, just checking one more time. So I read those. Read those. I don't think there's any here. And then, oh, so the bathroom, the painting room, the bedroom, and then the little area upstairs, kitchen, dining room, living room. I think I found all the rooms, unless there's a hidden one. Um, so yeah, we saw outside. I went, I went into the shed. I went into the gazebo. I saw the train tracks. I think I saw everything. Um, amazing. I mean, there's so much to see, so I just have to go through in my my mind, you know, out loud. That just in my mind. And uh, <laughs> make sure. I, I love this. You froze this over too. Wow. Okay. So this was an amazing house. Very nice job. It's it's awesome that you keep challenging yourself and learning more and more. I'm super impressed from the chapel to now this. So anyway, I'm sure Wizza is so thrilled to have it. I'm not sure why she published it. Hopefully she'll publish it so people can come visit and, and uh, vote. And hopefully you can give us those details. And please post that um, photo of the um, little little plastic house that you used to um, set up every year on the actual forums, like in the video video one at the you know w whenever you can. Because I don't have Facebook, so I can't see it there. So um, please post it there so all of us can see. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.